record this. All right, welcome to session five, Google Business uh, Profile Local SEO Webinar Series. This one's probably going to be a quick one. Well, I'll try to make it really quick. The last couple have, you know, fallen in the, you know, 20 to 35 minute range. Uh, this one might go a little quicker than that. Depends on if uh, there's going to be some Q&A after. And I found some new stuff out in putting this class together. I found out some new stuff. So I can't wait to share uh, what I've learned. Uh, now, if you've been to my classes in the past, you know I'm kind of doing these as a series. This is a series. Uh, this is number five of an 11-part series. And I've been helping real a little bit about me. If you don't know who I am, I've been helping real estate agents uh, with their technology and marketing for about 15 years now. I've been a tech nerd for 40 years, if you can believe that. Uh, and in July of 2023, I left my corporate job to start my own marketing agency. I'm also part of uh, what the what's what we're calling the KFA Marketing Club, uh, part of their marketing team over there. And th really, what the the goal of KFA is just to bring the community together through classes, masterminds, events, things like that. Uh, just think of us as a big happy family, and in the real estate and financial world, we're always looking out for each other and building each other up. That's kind of the goal with KFA. Speaking of, we have an event coming up. On the 15th, if you're here in town in Vancouver, Washington, on the 15th of uh, September, we're going to announce, we just announced a new speaker, another, uh, you know, tech software demo that's going to, that's going to just absolutely blow your mind. I saw it a couple of days ago and again, and it still blows my mind. So not just one AI demo, but we're going to be, dem you know, showing two amazing AI demos. We're going to have a really cool, engaging panel discussion uh, with, with uh, a couple of uh, AI experts and some people who've been integrating AI into their business. We're going to talk about AI scams. So this whole thing is going to be about AI, how it fits into your business and how to not get left behind. Okay. So on to session five. Uh, of our video series. Now, remember, um, if you if you missed any of these, they're over on my YouTube channel, so you can have them over there. Uh, location, uh, good question, Ellen. The location is at the it's going to be at the Rain Church in Brush Prairie, Washington. It's right off of Highway 503 on the 15th. Uh, we just confirmed the location yesterday because there was some confusion, but hey, it's confirmed. We we're, and we're good to go. Uh, so today we're going to talk about photos, videos, and logos specifically on Google Business Profile. Now, the whole goal with all of this is to help you improve your ranking uh, and more importantly, help with conversion. Conversion means customer interactions, people engaging with your, with your business and with your business profile. That's really the goal of this whole thing right here. And... Mm -hmm. uh, if, again, if you missed it, if you missed the last one we talked about was all about reviews. It was pretty engaging. Uh, I had a lot of people come up to me or ask me questions afterwards uh, in a private message, just saying like, hey, I need some help with my reviews. I need to figure out how to get them. How do I record videos and send them? So it was a really good class. Uh, learned, uh, taught a lot of, of, you know, interesting ways to get reviews as well. So if you haven't watched it, go over to my YouTube channel and go check it out. Uh, and again, if you want a digital audit of your Google business profile, you can go over to kfaclub.com forward slash marketing, hit the book now button, quick 30 minute free session with me, and I'll walk you through uh, your Google business profile. And by the way, these classes that we're covering, these all of these 10 classes, this is the exact same thing that I do when somebody hires me to go and do a, you know, a massive SEO push on their Google business profile. This is the exact same process that I use in my marketing agency every single day. Same process that I've been using for several years, actually. Okay. So today we're going to talk about photos, how to help you rank different types of photos that you can put on some tips and tricks to add photos, the re video re you know, and photo requirements, like, and more importantly, what about videos and how to get them on, how often you should add photos. So it's everything's today about visual content. Um, so I stole this from Google's help website. And what it used to say, it used to say like it, there was a percentage on here that said like people with more photos have a 42% more likelihood of having, you know, their business show up, but they took out all the percentages, but they still say, uh, this is straight from Google, 
that uh, it's a great place to showcase photos that capture your business. Businesses with photos are more likely to receive requests for driving directions to their location as well as clicks through to their websites than businesses that don't have photos. Okay, so that tells me like Google uh, recognizes that photos are an important part of, of Google business. And if you have more photos, you're probably going to see more customer interactions, more clicks. Uh, and I'm seeing that myself with anybody that I've helped. Uh, when you, the more photos you have, it feels like the more customer interactions I see on a regular basis. Now, when it comes to ranking factors, photos don't necessarily have a really super high impact in ranking. Uh, contrary to what Google says right here, but uh, according to WhiteSpark, uh, you know the quality of the of the engagement, you know whether people are clicking and looking at your photos, uh, makes a difference. And then you can see like number eighty two out of one hundred and forty nine is the quality and re relevance of photos, and then the quantity of photos with Google Vision AI labels matching keywords. We're going to talk about that in a second because that's a really important aspect. But you can see that there are some ranking factors in here and you see dead last geotagged photos uploaded to Google business profile. I used to geotag photos all day long and upload them. And you know what? It, it helped like a couple of years ago, it helped. And then Google just decided, you know what? We're not going to, we're, we're going to skip the geotagging from for now. And it's not going to help rank. And when, when they changed that algorithm, I watched interactions on Google business profiles go from like 2000 a month down to like 200 a month. It was that drastic of an impact. So if somebody's telling you, you need to geotag your photos and upload them to Google business, slap them in the face, tell them they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, and then, so conversion factors, when it comes to conversion factors, photos do play a super important role because that's where the customer interactions happen. And uh, you know, that's taking the client who found you and then they interact with your Google business profile. And that's the most important part of this because we that's the conversions. Rankings are great, but conversions are really what matter most. And uh, something that you might see here is this Google Vision AI matching labels keywords. And like, what the heck is that? So they've had this out for a long time. And what you may or may not know is when you upload a photo to well, any any website, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or Google, they have AI that matches, that goes in and analyzes your photo. And they, they're pulling out things from this photo. Uh, and basically what they're doing is they're, they're pulling out uh, things like faces, logos, landmarks, uh, brands, text, uh, and running it through an AI process. So I, I just took a photo and ran it through the Google Vision AI just to see like what it would come up with. And you can see like joy, sorrow, very unlikely, anger, very unlikely. So joy on this happy couple's face that was, uh, you know, closing on their home, very, very likely. And then check this out. Uh, same one, I went to the labels tab up here and 80% sure Google said, hey, we're 80% sure that this is a residential area. Uh, 79% it's a cottage and 79% real estate. So they're pulling out some data from your photos and incorporating that into the metadata right there for you. Now, where you can take this to a whole different level is with text when you're uploading photos and you're uploading graphics, maybe like an infographic or something like that. Uh, it's actually reading the text and you can see like block two, do staged homes really sell for more? And block three was was this info right here. So it's pulling that text out uh, of your of your photos. The AI is doing that for you. And I don't know if that's scary or if that's really amazing. I think it's a combination of both. But uh, and what you'll see if you're a Google Photos user, I use Google Photos. I've been using Google Photos, I don't know, probably seven or eight years now, uh, it has AI detection in it. So when you go into your Google photos, you can say like, I want pictures of a dog and it'll pull out all the photos that are in your Google photos that have a dog in it or a, a house or a location. It's it's absolutely amazing. I, th I think it's really, really cool, but also kind of frightening at the same time. Now there's three different uh, photos that you can upload into Google. And this is where usually people kind of get tripped up a little bit. They set up their Google business and they forget to add some of these later on, or they don't know, understand kind of the relevance of them. 
So the cover photo right down here, when you're, when you're setting up your Google business profile, it's going to ask you to like add photos. And one of them is a cover photo. The cover photo is the main photo. It's the first thing that people are going to see when they visit your Google business profile. The very first thing. Okay. So make sure your cover photo is something super relevant to your business. Maybe your team photo or your headshot. I recommend a headshot. This one's zoomed out a little bit. I should probably zoom that one in so see my actual face. But in any case, um, you know, that's your cover photo. There's really no set requirements on the size of the cover photo, but square or 16 by nine seems to be, you know, right in that ballpark. If it's super, super wide, you know, like a Facebook cover photo, it might not completely fit in there. It might take a little bit of experimentation to go in and see like what the best cover photo is going to be, but square is usually the best one uh, that fits in here. Uh, and then the logo right here, this is your logo. So you can upload a logo and you can, by the way, you can only upload one cover photo and one logo. You can change them anytime you want, but you can only upload one. So if you designate one specific picture as a logo, it's going to show up right here. And that's good for brand awareness. So when somebody's searching for you and they come across your Google business profile and you have your logo right here, it's your logo is your actual brand or your logo. That's going to help identify you a little bit better. So uh, headshot here, logo here, and we're good to go. Uh, and just showing you an example. Here's an example of, uh, of somebody that I pulled out. I went and found a Google business profile and threw it up here. And one that didn't have a logo and a cover photo attached. So you can see like immediately the power of visual content or content is which one looks better. Now, if you, if you were a, a business and you were searching for a business and you found one that looked like this, that didn't have any logos or visual content at all. And you found one that did, that was the same, you know, in, in the same ballpark. I know which one I'd probably go to. So don't forget to, when you're setting it up to add your logos. Now the, there's power in visible visual content, okay? Number one, just increased visibility. Google says, hey, we're gonna show your profile to more people uh, as a result because you have more photos. And not only that, but it's more engagement. The visual context is more engaging than just text, right? Or visual, where humans are visual people. We want that that's how we consume things. It's, uh, and, and I don't know about you guys, but after watching this video, like five or six times today, I think I need to go to heathen brewing and get some, get some fries or some tacos, but, uh, it's, it gives your customers a better understanding of your business, right. From an engagement standpoint. So they're seeing exactly who you are, what your business is, your products, your services, your overall atmosphere, those kinds of things that can lead to increased engagement on your profile. And then the last thing obviously is visual storytelling. They help tell a story of your business, like who you are, what you do, uh, you know, the people behind it, uh, you know, the, the, the beautiful listings that you have for sale, you know, fosters that deep connection with people who are searching for your business. And this is the way you stand out. Okay. If your competition isn't putting these things on and you are, you're probably going to have a higher likelihood. Now, what photos do we put up? This is the number one question right here. What should you be adding? It's not a social media network. And I don't want anybody to think like, oh, I'm going to just take the same content that I post over on my personal social media and post it over here on my Google business. Don't do that. Uh, business related photos. So, and when I say business related photos, uh, stay away from posts, you know, that are personal or you know, your vacation photos or your kids or your pets, you know, your leisure time, your fun things, keep those off of here on one condition. If your kids are standing in front of your for sale sign, then you can put them up. Sure. Uh, but business related photos, think kind of like LinkedIn. Okay. That's the way that I kind of position Google business. It's a lot like LinkedIn where you're only posting business content team photos, uh, happy clients, you know, you know, the building interior and exterior of your office is really, really super helpful. Uh, your listings, especially like the most beautiful ones. And you don't have to put all 32 photos up there, but maybe just pick out a couple of the really, really nice photos, the beautiful kitchens or the beautiful exteriors and the pools, the backyard with the pools or the sunset twilight photos, throw those ones in there because they're going to get, uh, they're, they're going to make it more visually appealing. Uh, event photos. If you do client events, you know, take pictures at client events, put those in there. Photos of the area are really, really good, especially like if you're selling homes in a specific area and you're taking pictures of like neighborhood parks, schools, or businesses, things like that. Those are great to have in there. 
infographics, okay? Like if you have some infographics that you had made for your social media, throw them up here on your Google business. It's just another place to put them. So go swipe that content from your social, from your business page, and more importantly, your website. Because Google says, if you have if you have a website and you have photos on your website, put them here on Google business as well to help uh, build that connection between your website and your Google business. Kind of makes sense. Now, here's good news and bad news. And now that I've shown you this, you can't unsee it, by the way. Uh, the good news is anybody with a Google account can add a picture to your Google business profile. They don't have to be a part of your business. They don't have to be a manager of your business. Anybody can come and add a photo to your business. And I've seen it happen a lot. Uh, they can be added from any profile. And now the, the good news is, is somebody else can add photos, but that's also bad news too, because what if they upload a bad photo or one that's not relevant. And so here's how it works is when you have a Google business profile, any what it does is you make these contributions, okay? And you can do this as a real estate agent. In fact, I might do an entire class around becoming a local guide. So I'm a level four local guide, which isn't really a big deal, but it, it, what they do is they look at your contributions, all the photos that you've added to Google, and you can actually go in and say, here's all the photos, the reviews, the questions and answers that I've provided. And Google builds that kind of that profile and they've gamified it and they put it, they put you into like different levels. Okay. And so if you find somebody who's a local guide and they left you a review, it's likely that they're going to add a photo to that review. We talked about that in the last class, adding a photo to a review automatically adds that photo to your Google business profile. Okay. So if you have clients who are like local guides or something like that, or micro influencers, have them add the photos and videos to your Google business as well. And it's just an, it's just another way to get photos to your Google business. Now, removing customer photos is a little bit more tricky. You can't simply just go in and say like, oh, I had customer A, take a photo and upload it. And, um, and we've moved since then, so I need to get the photo removed from my Google business profile. You can't just hit the trash can and have it removed. You actually have to ask Google to remove and say like, it's either, uh, it's not a photo of the place or it's poor quality, privacy concern. That sometimes that's the biggest one right there. If you really want a photo removed, put that it's a privacy concern and hit the report and Google will analyze it. But you, you have to have a legitimate reason. You can't just say, oh, my makeup wasn't done in this photo and I didn't like it. And they're not going to, they're probably not going to remove it as a result. Okay. So you can have them removed, it, but it takes a little bit more interaction. Uh, okay. Photo guidelines. So let's move to photo guidelines because this one's kind of important too. Uh, the format that Google wants, they obviously want standard picture formats. I've tried to upload web P's. If you know what a web P is, uh, to uh, Google and it won't accept it. So it has to be a picture for format. This says PNG or GIF or JPEG or PNG. I've actually uploaded TIFFs to them as well. So it will accept most picture formats, but for the most part it's PNG and uh, JPEG. Uh, 10 KB and five megabyte or 10, you know, five megabytes is typical resolution. Uh, if your photo resolution is too small, under 250 pixels, it's probably not going to be approved. So what I would I would recommend is at least over 720 for a resolution. Make sure it's good and clear. In fact, they even put that in there. The quality should be in focus, well lit, have no significant alterations or excessive use of filters. The image should represent reality. So if it's been filtered through your Instagram and a, a bunch of filters applied, probably not going to accept it. So just keep it as close to reality as possible. The other thing that they that Google warns against is phone stuffing. And this used to happen a lot where people would add their brand and their logo uh, and their contact information with a phone number on the actual photo when they upload it. Google uses that vision AI now. If they recognize a phone number or something like that on your photo, it's not going to be approved. It's just not going to be shown. Okay, It'll say not accepted. Uh, the Vision AI also does a really good job of uh, finding things that are inappropriate. Like if it thinks like there's any kind of violence or or sexual reference or anything like that, it's going to 
uh, disprove it as well. So avoid phone stuffing, avoid stock photos as well. Google recommends like no stock photos. The business, uh, the photos on your Google business should be authentic to you and your business, specifically your business. Okay. Now, what about videos? Here we go. This is a big one. Okay. You can upload videos to Google business profiles too. In fact, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And I'm going to show you why here in a minute. But your videos have to meet certain requirements. Google says that they have to be up only up to 30 seconds long, which means they have to be quick, only up to 75 megabytes, which is still pretty small for a video, and 720p or higher resolution. Okay. However, I've gotten videos approved that are longer than 30 seconds and there's a trick to it and i found the trick you upload the video and it's going to tell you like hey that video is not approved okay you're going to see it and within a couple of minutes you're going to go back to your google business and it won't be there it'll, it'll say not approved here's what i want you to do wait not very long a couple hours sometimes it's the next day you go in and look and magically it's approved. All of a sudden your, your video is in there and it's approved. It must be a bug or something. I don't know, but, uh, I've, I've tried this many, many times and I've actually seen videos up to two minutes get approved on Google business. Okay. If it's over two minutes, probably going to be too big or too long, you know, won't get approved, but up to two minutes, I've seen it actually happen. So what does this mean? If you're doing video content on other platforms, uh, you know, Instagram reels or it, Facebook reels, or it, even, you know, any kind of videos, whether it's uh, reels or not, you know, your listing videos, if you have your photographer provided you with a one minute listing video, upload that video to your Google business, uh, talking head videos, YouTube shorts. I mean, you name it. If you have video content, throw it on your Google business now. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in a minute. But here's the most important reason why. And this is really, really cool. When somebody finds you and they're on maps, your videos auto play. So like this is this is game changer right here. Like if somebody's searching for you on maps and there's videos in there and they see a video and it's one of like, maybe it's a, of a listing and now they're seeing proof of what you do right here in Google maps. And it's not a social media network. And that's the other thing too. They're not, when somebody's searching, put on your consumer hat for a second, when somebody's searching for a product or a service, they're not going to social media to find it typically. They're going to Google to find it. So now if they go to Google to find it and they're seeing your content right here from other social media platforms right here on your on your Google business, that's a game changer. That's how you stand out right there. That's exactly how you stand out. Okay, so how do we add them? Adding them on uh, Google business is actually super, super easy. If you're on a desktop, uh, obviously you wanna log in with the Google account that is on that manages your Google business profile, you're going to see this button right here. It just says add photos. Okay. We click on that add photos. It's going to give you three options right down here, photo, logo, or cover photo. Now, if you've already uploaded your logo and your cover photo, we're going to skip right to the photo section, but you notice it says photo and not photo video. And you would think, well, where do I put the videos? It's right here under photos. Okay, so it's gonna say like, drag your photos or videos here or go select them and bring them in. Now, if the photos and the videos are already on your desktop, super, super easy way to go. What if you're like me and everything is on your phone and you don't have a way to get it from your phone to your computer? You can do this from your phone too. So I use, you don't have to, but I use the Google mobile, uh, the Google iPhone app is what I use. And the two reasons I use this, one, I launch the app, log in with the account that manages my Google business profile right here. And anytime something happens on my Google business, if I get a message, if I get a review, if uh, somebody asks a question, I'm going to get a notification on my phone. Hey, somebody just left a review. Somebody just asked a question. Somebody initiated a chat. 
That's all done right here through this Google mobile app. So highly recommend getting the Google mobile app and logging in uh, and using it, but you can upload the photos from that mobile app too. So launch the mobile app. We're going to go find your business. Uh, and then there's, you can see there's an add photo button right here. Uh, another button right here, the next step, add photo. And it's going to say like, Hey, where are your photos? And we can say photo library, or we can even take a photo in a video, which means it's going to open up your camera and you can snap the picture right there and upload it right to, right to Google, right from your phone. Okay. So highly recommend one or the other. Actually, I highly recommend getting it on your mobile device. That's going to be the easiest place for you to upload photos and videos is from your mobile device. Now, the next question, and I'm going to end with this, how often should we be doing this? And Google recommends, well, they encourage business owners to regularly upload photos to their Google business listing. And by regularly, what does that mean? I would say a minimum of once a week, a minimum. Okay. Uh, that, now that doesn't mean you only have to do it once a week. If you want to do it every couple of days, great. You want to do it every day, probably even better, you know, upload one or two every day, but regularly adding content and photos to your Google business is going to keep you a little bit more top of mind with Google. They're going to see that new content on a regular basis. Okay. So if you have those long bursts where you're like, upload, I uploaded a hundred photos on uh, August 1st, and then I didn't upload any until January of the next year. Like instead of doing those big bursts, you want like a nice steady stream. And it's super easy to do whenever you're posting to your social media platforms, just take that same post and put it over onto your Google business too. Okay. And we can add it as a photo. You can add it as a post. We're going to talk about posts in another class. And that's going to keep you nice and solid top of mind. This could be pictures of your open houses, uh, you know, spotlight a unique feature of a house. I mean, it, it can be just about anything. It doesn't, don't overthink it. Just add photos. Okay. Uh, that's, that's really all we got to do. Okay. What's next? So next class and I haven't decided if I'm going to do this next Wednesday or yet, uh, because I have a the KFAI event is coming up. We got to prepare for that, so I might do this one next Wednesday. I haven't decided. I haven't put it on the calendar yet. But the next one, the next class I'm going to do is on products, and I broke this up into two sections. I did products part one and products part two. Products part one is going to be all about like services as a product. So we're going to take your main services. We're going to run them through AI. We're going to have AI help you write a description of that service. And we're going to add those services as a product on your Google business. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about your sold properties and your listings, your current listings. We're going to put those up as a product too. And there's some, there's some really cool ways to do this, uh, to drive, to help drive traffic and customer interactions too. So that's, what's coming up next. So a little bit of sneak peek. And if anybody has any questions, I'm going to pop the chat up really quick. See if anybody has any questions. Where did the chat go? Um, so far, nobody. Nobody's got questions. All right. Look at that. 30 minutes. I think I hit almost hit 30 minutes on the head. 28 minutes. Boom. All right. Cool. I nailed it. Thanks, Randy. Yep. Uh, if nobody has any questions, I'm going to end it right there. Upload this over to the YouTube and uh, and hopefully you guys got something out of today and we'll see you on the next session. If I don't see you at the KFAI event coming up on September 15th. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. Have a great day.